Hello everybody, welcome to Soros Adventures in Kenshi once again. Last time we kidnapped this poor bastard here, made sure he does not recover anytime soon, and now we are hauling his poor ass um, to the Holy Nation to cash in on his bounty. He definitely deserves it, so I don't feel too bad about it. I mean, he was kidnapping people and uh, using them to fertilize his crops. So while he was a farmer, he was not exactly thinking the normal way that farmers think. And besides, I need his 15,000 cats. <laughs> you know, who said that I am the most honorable person in the world. And in the process, I'm going to be stopping by the scrap house to hopefully maybe buy a slightly upgraded Notachi. Because it would be nice to get something with an edge type 2 or edge type 1 or even edge type 3, I think they have those in there. Oh, and that's Brink. I have not been there before because I just discovered it, so... Rather curious about what's there. Now which way is it? Uh, I have not been here for a while. How does this look? Brink. As you might imagine, it's on the brink of destruction. Mean to say. Oh, it's owned by the. God damn it! Can't really do anything here because it's owned by the, the United Cities. They've got a weapons store, two bars, barracks, clothing store. Some pretty nice stuff, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do anything here. Because I am a, a bit of a fugitive in the Holy Nations. Or the United Cities, I mean. Now I remembered it here. I forgot that it existed. Just because I haven't played can see in a long time. Grass Pirates, once again. We are on a storm cap coast, so naturally we do need to have pirates here. When you go from where you go, when you go from where you go, when I go, that song is stuck in my head. And yeah, basically, after I go to visit the skeleton workshop for a moment, I will be traveling back to the border zone just to enjoy the fruits of my labor, just to see how much stronger I have gotten since my last visit in that area. There I saw some vein ventilated cells right there. Rather intimidating, and what's this? Oh, this is just a base station. That's that makes sense. That makes sense. These base stations are super nice. Okay, um, I hope the preacher isn't burning alive in the process here. There's the scrap house, actually. I think. Yeah, I immediately see him or see that area. It is well this way better actually. There's those stupid ninjas again. <laughs> Loud ninjas. I can't believe how much easier it was to get here through that route. Okay, I'll um, put this to floor 1 and just click here. I think that could make me uh, immediately walk in there, as far as I saw. Yes, 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 okay, I finally solved how to easily get in here. <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of stuff you have here, Quinn. Welcome, dear human. Please tell me you've got some Nodazis here for me to use, and yes, you do. That's um, it's type 2. You might even have an it's type 3 if I'm lucky. It's a, uh, I know it's pretty rare, but they do have them. At least they should, let me check. I'm pretty sure it goes the way that... Basically, the only way you can get it's type 3 weapons is from this place. It's type 2, you can craft. It's type 3, that's exclusively um, from here. So this place is extremely valuable for that. Now where did I have them? Ah, damaged book. <laughs> Thanks. 
I mean, it's true, they hoard everything, so they also have something that isn't as valuable. Do they sell any Katun, actually? No, I don't think they have any Katun grade weapons at all. Those are, are beyond their, or below their notice, I should say. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, sell this Nodachi from Mark II. Actually, I'm going to sell buy this seven and compare the damage I can do with them and go to my back. It can be a... <laughs> Sora. <laughs> Maybe I need to have those two. Nah, <laughs> just one. I don't know how it works in Kenshi. Yeah, this does um, 0 0.6 more cutting damage, so the damage multiplier is way higher. With this one, I think I'm going to be doing like 100 damage per attack to the ordinary weakling enemies that I'm going to find. So I have entered one shot kill territory with that one, I think. And with that, I'm probably not going to upgrade my weapon for a long time. I'm actually going to go straight to Skinner's room and I will get to enjoy. Oh. Um. Cloud Ninja. Black Desert Ninjas. They discovered why you do not want to try and steal anything from here. <laughs> Those poor fools. <laughs> Being a bandit might pay pretty well, but it works well in areas where there's someone who isn't going to one-shot you. It's a bit safer in those places. Time has changed. Perhaps it's a sign of awakening in the next cycle. And yes, something about these skeletons is that... Yep. <laughs> Well, they are a bit elitist. They um, don't view humans as, as uh, elite as they are. And back to acid rain. I mean, they do have a point. While you would think that the skeletons are nice and all, um, they are mostly nice. There's, I mean, for example, most of them have gone insane with the passage of time. Broken model. 30. From the ancient ruins faction. They've got a bunch of different things here. I think it's pretty interesting how these um, ruins, these skeletons, like they are naked, they don't wear any armor. So while they are pretty tough, you can definitely defeat them pretty early in the game, even. It's not easy, but it's possible. And that's a workshop. So I guess that used to be. Um, something owned by the skeletons before they broke in there as well. And basically all of the skeletons are like a thousand years old, at least. Um, some of them might be a bit younger, uh, because maybe they were made by the other skeletons, I'm not sure. But most of them are super ancient, they have like very fancy technology in them as well. And I think there's a city around here, so I'm going to visit there and um, throw the preacher down there for some extra money. And I think I might be a bit overpowered to fight the Dust King anymore, but I mean, it will be a fun thing to see if he can match up to me anymore. <laughs>
I'm probably not going to fight them in with Zoro. Because if you didn't know, Zoro has some uh, racism issues himself. Allegedly, of course. It just so happens that all of his enemies happen to be black. Or other minorities. <laughs> the other races in One Piece. Which makes Zoro a pretty perfect character for Kenshi, to be honest. Like the One Piece word is eerily similar. Yes! Starving bandits. Three starving bandits. 98 damage. That was brutal. I did not think that would happen. Honestly, I thought I would deal 100 damage instead of 98. But remember, my stats are only halfway to full. So that means I can start defeating them with one shot. Okay, that attack does 88 damage, and that attack did 100 to that one. 5 toughness, or well, 4 toughness. So 4 toughness is enough to do 100 to. They did get one attack onto me, but that was pure luck. And I have gone way past their level now. There's a very good chance of me taking some arms off here. And of course with the nature of times two attack slots, I might be... might get stuck into the defense loop. But it's not very likely to happen. And I guess I did go into this battle kind of wounded from the acid. <laughs> so, that's why. Oh damn, there's even more. They want a piece of this. Damn. Personally, if I was a starving man, I would not attack someone this strong. But, you know. Who am I to decide for them what they should do? Like if some, someone is coming out from the wastelands in full ninja gear, you know, and with a shining blade, and I'm just a man who hasn't found food in three days, isn't strong enough to hunt even goats, isn't strong enough to do anything and I'm still attacking this man. I would I would be <laughs> kicking myself. Okay, I did go down. Mostly because I was already really badly hurt. <laughs> and I'm still not going to give them my singular food cube. But yeah, you can see I'm I'm way stronger now. Many of these guys are actually going to bleed to death now. And I, the thing is, I could have gone into this fight way stronger too. And that's I did <laughs> three toughness. <laughs> okay, this hammer bandit wants to test their lag. Yeah, my damage is now lower because I'm already injured. And my armor isn't that good, so taking the hits from them does still deal damage to me. I could consider, uh, I mean, I've, I'm not even just going to consider it. I will travel to uh, perhaps get some upgraded armor after defeating the Dust King and the uh, Black Dragon Ninjas. <laughs> I can immediately get up again. Okay, fight me again, bitches. I will defeat you, it's just going to take a bit of a moment. Right. This one lost their arm. That's the only one actually that lost their arm, so I didn't take that many arms in that fight. I would have liked to take some more. 
and yeah, I'm just injured, so my dexterity is way lower. If you didn't know, dexterity increases your damage with the weapons, with the sharper weapons specifically, and increases your attack speed. Okay, how do I get there to the tower? Oh, there, there's a road. Are you the dust bandits? Yes, I think this is. I'll attack the dust bandits first, and then the black dragon ninjas after. Because I think the dust bandits are a bit tougher, or a bit weaker, I mean. Besides, you haven't really seen the black dragon ninjas yet, so that can be a surprise. Mm, okay, back to the classics. I feel nostalgic already, seeing these two factions fighting. And looks like the travel from uh, that side of the map to here took me 20 minutes now. Um, it actually has stopped, so it was not that long of a trip, really. Now, something to notice that during night time it's actually easier to attack here, because they uh, go sleep, and I can easily pick this lock too. Right. Let's uh, invade the Dust King Tower. I'll try to stealth KO him. I wonder why... Uh, hmm. I don't know why it showed it failed, because it clearly did not fail. Okay. Just weaken them a little bit and now... We fight for you. Oh crap, there's many. Yeah, it's not the easiest battle. Okay, I'm in a good spot. One hundred damage. Okay, um, I don't want to stay here anymore. They are manning the um, turrets. I probably need to work them down for a bit because of that. My armor isn't really good enough yet to deal with the turret fire. Oh my god, that damage. Okay, he succumbed to his injuries. Actually, I'm pretty sure he got shot by the harpoon. And funny enough, these guys are <laughs> actually like pretty damn weak after you go somewhere else and then you look at them because yeah, their stats are in the 15s. Hardly a big opponent to defeat. And I just did 110 damage to someone there. Meanwhile, their archers are definitely doing more damage. Oh my god, 122. That left arm is gone. And yeah, it was definitely me because those turrets only do 29. They are only level 1, I think. And uh, looks like I will go down. Oh, there's actually the Dust King himself. But yeah, I did go down, but I took so many of them with me. And all of these guys who are injured, they are not going to be recovering, because... The dust tower... Okay, I'm letting, letting you take you that one. It's okay. They do not have medkits. The dust bandits, if you remember. So, they are <laughs> going to actually just um, die after I attack them a few times. Because I do cutting damage that causes a lot of bleeding. They are going to be basically cripples by the end of this. And I'm actually still getting some stats here because while I might look very strong and you know, I've been playing this for a while, you need to remember um, like having a character in with the stats in the 16s is, 60s is not that odd. Like it's not out there by that much. And these guys are attacking me while I am a bit um, injured, so I cannot defeat them right now. Okay, they are coming out. This one uh, has a pretty 
hurt left arm though, this dust boss. I don't know if he's feeling very okay. And the gate is open, so it will be even easier to attack them. The, I guess this one was using the turret, but he was injured and fell. Okay. I'll uh, attack this one. He's naked. <laughs> Are all of the ones on the ground now dead? Not dead yet, but they are dying pretty really, really soon. Actually, that one's just dead right there. He tried to get to the turret. We can't have him doing that. Let's defeat him quick. That one as well. He has also been hit in the left arm. 85 damage to the chest. Or 84, excuse me. And yeah, he's not getting up either. Now, I definitely don't have the ability to take on all of them at once, and I think the Dust King does have a Mato weapon, so something to keep in mind there. I think he has a Mato horse chopper, or a Mato ring chamber, or something like that. Actually, a really good weapon. He's just not very well equipped, that's all. Do you want to fight me yourself? No. Oh, the entire um, crossbow squad <laughs> at once. Okay. Let's see it. <laughs> um, I'm going to make you guys do so much friendly fire, it's going to be unreal. Yeah. Oh, someone did shoot the... That guy down for a hundred, I think so. I don't think I hit him. What level is this? Mounted crossbow, I think it's just a normal one. I'm surprised it does a hundred damage. I don't think it does actually. Hmm. Maybe. To me it does 20 damage though, so... It's not that scary really. Just if you have a new recruit, they could potentially die from that. And the one got shot really badly. I am, I am a pin cousin. <laughs> okay, that one died to blood loss. Well, he didn't die yet. He's going to die, just that. This does spend it as well. Defeat him, and then I can defeat these two. And that's actually enough, because he's going to be too injured to continue pretty soon. That one as well. <laughs> I'm going to bleed them to death. <laughs> My new tactic. Bleed them dry. Okay, that one accidentally got hit again. It's dead now. Or he's not dead yet, but he's going to be. Ha ha ha. You can't defeat the Dust King. Okay, sir, buddy. Let's see in a moment. That one also collapsed. That one's... Uh, he is going to collapse eventually. When his um, leg falls off anyway. And with his loot and uh, with the loot from uh, Busan and Dimak, I'm going to have enough money for uh, a masterwork or a special grade uh, samurai chest plate or something similar to that. And a really nice shirt as well. Like you're going to see me going from a pretty strong fighter, or actually really strong already, but from a really strong fighter to almost unbeatable, at least by further enemies like this. Also, the Dust King is not that, not that much weaker than me in terms of statistics, I should remind you. His stats are in the 40s. Oh, that one's pretty slow though. There he goes, Dust King down. Nice job, enemy crossbow man. Took him down nicely for me. Minus 51. Okay. Yeah, I need to defeat this crossbow after that, guys. Before they kill me. They are doing by far the most damage here. 
actually pretty interestingly, the dust bandits and the starving bandits are about equally as hard for me to defeat now because both of them take about 90 damage one hit, so two hits and <laughs> all of them are going down. It doesn't really matter which one it is. The dust bandits just have slightly better gear. Not crossbow man. Yeah, I'll say it. The, the rebel farmers, I definitely took them on a bit too early. They are stronger than I thought. Okay, these ones are dying here. Or, actually, they are already dead. Actually, I need to make sure um, that the Dust King himself doesn't die here. Because I do need his bounty. And if he dies, I don't get his bounty in full. So let's make sure he doesn't brutally croak. There we go. Pick him up. Mm, he has a dark letter sort. I already have that done. Oh, and he does not have a mate though. He has just a mark three. So very good still. That's for 4,000. And his uh, samurai equipment is pretty nice as well. Most importantly though, I just want his... Oh, he has a 35,000. I thought it's 30,000. Maybe it uh, got raised. Bounty flyer definitely says 30,000 though. If I look at it. Asking, yeah, 30,000. So it's like his bounty recently went up from that. And it's a specialist crossbow toothpick. I'm not a crossbow user, but if I was, it would be very nice to have. And besides, it's worth a lot of money. It's a lock for me to pick as well. <laughs> the Dusking Tower really does not have too much stuff, really. <laughs> it's a singular tower. Okay, he has a sleeping bag, a bunch of rum and sake. I'll take the sake, just because I'm sorry. Some chew sticks and stuff. Something I do remember he has is um, this man over here. You can talk to him. Okay, I just... Do you have any friends? Tell me about your friends. Okay, we can chat later. What happened to you? Why are you in here? I don't have time for chit chat. Okay. I'll pick your lock. If I can. I'm free. You're a hero. Oh, accidentally. I did not mean to put the Dust King in there. I just misclicked. Oh crap, that cat is now... Ah, you're letting me go. Are you? It's like that, is it? Oh, yes, it is like that. And I need to be careful, I'm doing too much damage to him. He's going to die if I hit him too much. Uh, I need to hold back. <laughs> I'm like one of those anime characters now. He's pretty fat. <laughs> He's fat and buff. If I stayed him. And Cat is a part of my party, but I'm just going to have him die, to be honest. Because uh, I'm solo. I'm not. I'm Zoro, and I'm solo. <laughs> I say it like that. Pick up. And I'll go to the... Um, Sec Kingdom. To re return this bounty, and... I'll leave Cat over here, and he can watch over the camp, I guess. Until he dies. And, uh, oops, I should pick up my camper before I leave. <laughs> I keep on forgetting it. Oh, my inventory is too full. And this isn't too much uh, value. Let's go. Now, onward to screen. And, uh, uh, Kat, uh, I hope you have a nice life over there in your freedom. I like to think you escaped. He's getting attacked. And he is unconscious. Who attacked him? A dust bandit bowman just took him out like that. Well, he will be remembered.
I'm getting some strength training in the process here. You must be with the holy nation. And going back to rebirth again. I wonder why he's attacking me actually. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, they just shot their ally. Oh, is it because I got a slightly better uh, relations boost with the holy nation? Holy nation, where are you? Holy Nation not lost there, plus 5. I don't know why they're attacking me. I guess it's just kind of random that they do that. I'm not even seeing the Holy Nations in this list, but... Uh, maybe you noticed it and I didn't. That would have been a bit embarrassing. Okay. Maybe make it quick, flat skin. Yeah, I'll make it quick and I'll return the Dust King for you as well. Have fun with him. 35k. Let's actually see if they have anything good here in the second kingdom. They sometimes have high grade armor. Oh, I just was lagging. I can't go inside that shop. Okay, forget it. I'm not going to buy it there anyway. The, the, the armor king is going to do my armor in. And these ones I definitely don't want right now anymore. So ranked saber. Those big samurai boots. No, basically the entire set of equipment by the Dust King and one of those. I just need to carry one uh, bottle of sake for sure. And I'm just going to uh, attack the other unknown tower here. <laughs> Perhaps I should do that next episode. This can be a bit of a shorter episode, just defeating the Dust King. Next episode I'm gonna try and handle the, uh, you know, what the better code, uh, the black dragon ninjas, there we go, so thanks for watching everybody, see you next time, bye bye.